Welcome back everybody. So as promised in yesterday's video, setting up some solar right now. Uh, I know this looks super gange, but believe it or not, it is actually the correct um, orientation. Uh, a little bit low on the tilt, but it is the middle of summer. So for solar in the summer, you want the panels flatter and in the winter, you want them like more upright. There's the excavator, RV. Got a small little campfire going right there for uh, natural bug repellent. But yeah, I'm gonna wire these in and I have my Battleborn battery set up. I'm gonna do something here. Um, this is gonna just power the Starlink permanently. So I'm gonna leave this here. I'm gonna leave the Starlink V2 here. Probably knock these trees down, put the dish up there. And then, yeah, we'll have dialed Wi-Fi that we could play Xbox out here, watch Netflix, watch whatever we want. So yeah, that is the beginning of my day's adventures, wiring this all up. Um, I'll show you some of the components here in a second. Here, there's all the components. Really small solar system, but the Starlink does not use a lot of power. And here's the specs on these. I will add more if uh, it dies in the middle of the night or whatever, but 2000 watt inverter. Here's the charge controller, two Battleborns, girthy cables for everything. Um, I got a shunt see what's going on there's the shunt bar thing there so i'm gonna just wire this all up get the starlink connected throw that up on the roof and uh maybe we'll get into some excavator stuff today here is the system super gange 100 percent understand uh if you're trying to do this yourself don't use me as a, a example for wiring this is super shambles whatever it's supposed to be fast to undo just in case I want to add more batteries or whatever, but got the inverter on, as you can see. Full charge here already. Oh, pulling 102 watts. This is literally pulling 100, well, we'll say that this has got like a five watt idle or something, but it says right there, 100 watt max. And as you can see, we are pumping 103 watts. Yeah, charging up the Iceco battery bank. Um, now that this is done, and so I say done, it is not done, but usable, usable. I'm just trying to watch some Netflix tonight, you know? I'm just trying to watch some UAP documentaries. So I gotta get the Starlink going. Got these, just absorbing that free sunlight. Look at that, look at this big ball of sun right here. So yeah, I'm probably gonna toss the Starlink up on there or either that or run an extension cord from the inverter into the thing. I got a new extension cord right here. I got like a sick one that's like high gauge, whatever, 14 gauge wire. Look at this guy. You comfortable, buddy? Dirty. That's what he is. Uh, but yeah, I got to set up the jewel cut. As you can see, I have the water tank right here. Um, thinking I'm just going to put the jewel cut right here, clip the head of it to that, stick the tube in, boom, bang, boom, take a shower right there, put like a tarp down or something. No big deal. There's the Starlink right there and it's gonna want to tilt that way so these gotta go this is it first little actual excavator video i'm thinking i'm gonna come in this way like this get the boom up there and just push these all that way use the thumb maybe drag them out over here limb them or just fucking refuse them i got the chainsaw I start dicing these up right here, toss it in our little uh, insect repellent. So, yep, got the chest rig on. Let's get this going. Here we go. I'm probably gonna have to play with the angles a little bit. Get this going here. Okay. All right, maybe it's, should I tip the GoPro back or do you guys want to see the controls? I don't know. Maybe something like this. Not quite sure, unfortunately. I am sorry. kind of collect my thoughts here or we'll try to I don't know what view is gonna be best so you guys will probably see me be messing with the camera a lot all right pick the blade up pick the boom up okay let's reverse is there let's 
Carlos about to get fucking squished. I, I gotta literally look backwards. Alright, let's make a gentle turn here as to not destroy my gravel. Oh my god, I don't know if you guys can see how high that is. UAP documentaries! Oh my god, this machine is gonna corrupt me. Oh my god, I just realized I'm moving like a 10,000 pound rock. That's what all that grinding was. I thought it was the track. <laughs> you can just push him over sideways! Oh my god, I'm gonna roll it. I'm gonna roll it. Wait, let me try to grab that with the thumb. All right, let's get a little fancy here. All right. Oh God, I don't know the controls yet. I don't know the controls yet. I'm full of shit. I am full of shit. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my God. I'm gonna fucking flip this hoe. Give me the thumb, baby. Give me the thumb. Yeah. All right, let's, how do I retract this fucking boom? Jeez, that's so much force. But I just dropped this in the campfire. Okay, okay, next tree, next tree. Or should I move this rock? Nah, nah, rock can stay, rock can stay. Okay. These are... This is so fun. Here, can I, I'm gonna drop blade and I'm gonna try to push that rock back. All right, blade dropped, blade dropped. These machines are so sick. All right, let's get that up. Extend the boom. Push forward. Idle up a little bit. Dude, this thing literally just moves everything. I want one. I'm about to start fucking excavator shopping. Look at the size of these rocks that I'm just fucking off. Like, oh, oh, not good. Okay. I'll try and square this up as good as possible here. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm fucking working on. Just moving huge rocks. All right, can I get this down and not blow my face out? I'm not gonna lie, I'm fucking scared of one of these barber tearing into me. Effortlessly! Effortlessly. Okay, back this hoe up. 
dude, I need a fucking excavator. I feel like I'm so butthurt now. Like, once you have one, how do you live without it? This is sick. I'm gonna have to come in from like the side or over here and grab these trees with the fucking, with the uh, thumb drop blade a little bit. I'm trying to like, oh my God, I'm doing a fucking gigantic wheelie. Oh my God, the boom, oh! That was not good. God, I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm just fucking shit up, boys. I'm just fucking shit up. Okay, um, these trees here, little sketchy, little sketchy, not gonna lie, just because there's three of them right next to each other. Maybe go for this right one first. Yeah, right one first. Okay. you guys to hear this. Listen to this thing chugging. Alright, I'm gonna get back to work. 
the Starlink is kind of acting up and it's asking me to create like a support ticket but like I don't have the service to do it so that's really stupid but um, I'm gonna try to push this rock over there so that I can get the excavator in this way and maybe move some of this because I'm gonna push these down right here as well right now so yeah let me try to move that out of the way I mean this method seems to be working it doesn't feel good though lower the blade a little bit more Doing a fucking Bernie in this thing. Easy. Easy when you got an excavator. I think that's honestly enough room. All right. Let's see. Well, I'm going to have to start clearing this anyway, so I might as well attempt to get this like stump and this uh, like pile of trees out of here. So, let this begin. Haha! -ha. Gonna have to get in here with the chainsaw a little bit. Maybe slice that, uh, slice up the stump. Or maybe I should try to, should I try to push it with the blade? Yeah, let's try to push it with the blade, see what happens. Give you guys a better view here. Jeez, stumps are strong as fuck. I'm gonna have to dig that stump out. I'm just trying to literally clear a path here so I could get over there without like damaging my driveway because it's gravel. Fucking twerking. Give me some more blade. I still don't know how to fucking tilt the bucket. Idiot. I suck. Going in from another angle. That stump is giving me trouble, but we'll get it at some point. I'm gonna roll this pig. I don't actually know what I want to do here. Dare I go up in there? What are the odds I fucking like break this thing? Get this up out of the way. Oh god, I'm going into the ravine, everybody. This is probably a fucking terrible idea. That is an excavator, though, after all. Oh my god. Oh my god, sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. Don't like, don't like, don't like. Fuck it, I'll make a path right here. I'm gonna, like, pull dirt in and make this not so steep of a... Not so steep of a ravine here. Let me drop this blade so I got some stability. I'm just literally gonna pull dirt towards me here and make a little pathway that isn't so deep. Well, I'll report back when this is done. All right, so it's probably 6 or 7 p.m. I'm gonna run out to town, grab dinner, but this is where I call it quits with the excavator for the day. As you can see, much different now with uh, all that cleared out. And here's the trees that I knocked them down, grabbed them, spun around, dropped them right there in a nice stack. I do have a spot where I want to put this stuff, um, but for now, I just kind of want to stack it up right here. Like, notice how they're all the same direction. So, yeah, I just hit a shower in the Julka for obvious reasons, cannot show it, but it has a magnetic shower mount and I stuck it right to the side of the water tank. Worked so good. So, um, I, I've had some thoughts about this trailer. I kind of want to turn this into like the bathroom unit. Like, it's so big that you could have like a fat shower, a fat sink, washing machine, dryer in there, like a little lounge for the winter time. You get a little wood stove going in there, whatever. Um, but yeah, so far so good with the excavator today. I feel like I got a lot done. This is looking a lot different. Now just imagine it with all those trees gone too. And then this like 
nice and smoothed out like that. So once I kind of develop this spot over here, I'll start dealing with this. But just for now, I'm going to just take it one day at a time, one little project at a time. And I got accomplished what I wanted. Um, you guys saw I said, let me just knock down this cluster of trees. It's exactly what I did. And uh, yeah, little bug repellent campfire still going strong.